Hi my delicious lights, it's Lena here. So I just wanted to check in with you guys. <laughs> Sorry, there's like a bunch of stuff behind me. I want to check in with you guys and let you know that I'm not sure I'm taking this channel or what I'm doing with it. <clears throat> um, and I just wanted to give you guys a message, um, an intuitively channeled message for anyone who sees this and whoever it resonates with out there um i think it's really important in life to live a life that feels right to you because i my perception how i see reality is very interesting and i noticed a lot of people live a very simple life um a lot of people live a very simple closed-minded life and I think it's vitally important to live a life that is suited to you, live a life that will make you happy. Um, because one day you're gonna be old and you're not gonna be able to do the things that you were able to do that when you were young or you wish you did. So I think there's so much pressure in this society to, 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 to sorry, to work, you know? Um, and there's nothing wrong with working, but it's really interesting to see how we're brought into this world to literally build our way up into the system. Everything in this reality is based on materialism. And um, I think yes and no, it's a good and bad thing, but I also feel like um, mental health is really suppressed and um, there's so much that we don't actually know about how much our mind can do and this is really interesting because i noticed that a lot of like celebrities and famous people um they talk a lot about manifestation and mental health and the spiritual body and they're so in tune with it and i wanted to let you guys know that and and that really like resonated with me like you can have the same mindset as as someone else who is in that higher Status, status, you know, and I think it's really important that, like, we, like, look up to these people so much, but we do not look up to ourselves. We don't look up to ourselves, and why is that? Why don't we look up to ourselves? Like, I think it's really interesting. Like, we're brought into this world, we go to school, and then we work, and we work for the rest of our lives. And it's like, what's the point of that if you're not actually, you know? doing what actually you want to do and there's all this like fear around you know what if I do this and they're not happy and what if I step outside the box and do this and it's it's really hard because if you're in an environment that isn't like supportive of your beliefs or your morals or where you want to go it's a lot harder to kind of bloom in that environment so I think it's really important to do what makes you happy and if you do want to start something do it like you know like everything in this world was created by someone everything behind me someone had an idea and they made it their reality physically so you think like if you can have that idea in your mind then you can have that physically you know you can create that physically i think the issue is that I feel like there's so much that we don't know and I feel like we're so cut off from being able to explore and see the world because we work so much, you know? But obviously, you know, that's life. That's what everyone said to me, that's life. But is that just life? Like, you know, I'm just trying to understand and I feel like there are people out there that would probably understand my perception as well. <coughs> Sorry. But I just feel like if you have like a vision for something, like it, it can happen. It's just the belief in yourself and the belief of, you know, making it happen. Um, for example, I have a vision board and my vision board is things that I want to achieve this year. So what I do is I put pictures up of um, what I would like to achieve this year and I do some photos and some self-care um, where I'd like to maybe train or go places I'd like to travel to. Um, 
maybe some career pathways I'd like to stumble down, maybe a tattoo I'd like to get, maybe a change in my hair, maybe I want to focus more on my mental health, um, like things I want to change. And when you see something enough, it pretty much becomes your reality. But I feel like we don't, as humans, we're not as present in life. We're not as like, wow, like, you know, like, there's so much nature around us and it goes by so unnoticed. Like, when was the last time you just like, I don't know, like stood outside or um, you were just in nature somewhere, like a park, like parks are everywhere, but you'll see no one at them. <laughs> Like, I just find that so weird. Like, parks are so, like, grounding and good for your energy. But everyone's always inside. Like, everyone is always inside. Cars, buildings. It's really interesting to see how, like, I feel like those things kind of close you off if you're always in them. So I feel like if you don't have a balance between, you know, like, it can't just be all ego in your life. I feel like in our life, it's all based around ego and there's not enough soul that we can do and feel in things. Like, I feel like we kind of suppress that in society. And with that suppression, the suppression is with our mental health. Like, we're told that, you know, like, emotions are weak. Like, just deal with it. You'll get over it. It's like, you can't move forward. I mean, you can, but that suppression is still in your body. Those emotions, those events are still there. It's like, how do you just forget about those things, you know? And um yeah wh whatever you are thinking or feeling i want you to know that you're not crazy yes your perception is different yes your vision is different and people will never understand that and it's really sad people are very close-minded but that's just how we've been programmed in society and that's just this world but you shouldn't let that interfere with who you want to be um especially with the belief you know sometimes you just got to affirm to yourself like like, I love myself. I'm trying to learn how to, to, to forgive myself, to move forward, because I feel like life is very weird. Like, why, what, we just, what, we just come here to work and get married and have kids, like, and just the system just continues, but there's no, like, progression in our soul. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like we need to experience, um, the side of our soul just as much as our ego that's why i feel like it's so important to heal you know like through healing you can really unravel layers and parts of yourself like if you've been doing the same thing for so long you'll never know what change is like it's crazy because since my journey and all my previous videos since i've been back now i'm back home and it's like wow it's so interesting to see how like the person I was there but the person I he am here is it's like it's so weird because it's like home will always be home but <sighs> there's so much to see out there and when you've got like a little bit of a taste of it you want more but I also feel like there is a lot you need to look out for out there like there is there is both good and evil there is a spiritual battle almost every single day you know you can ask someone who is spiritual or someone who is following some sort of religion and religions are literally made to divide us let's be honest they're all pretty similar they're all just divided into different religions but in some ways they are similar with their beliefs and their morals but that's just my opinion but yeah um if you have an idea or a step that you want to take and it just sits there in the back of your mind you need to do it because it's your life and at the end of the day like when you walk through that mall or you walk through that workplace they don't care they don't care they no one cares no one you'll walk somewhere and no one cares everyone is just doing their own thing living their own life living their own character like it's so weird to see how much we care what people think of us when in reality no one cares no it's like when you go to the gym no one's watching you because everyone's focused on their own you know emotions and their own um dream goal to build their physique and to level up no one actually cares everyone's got their own own goals and fulfillments and like you need to do what makes you happy whether that's dressing differently or maybe leaving everything you know or um starting a business or like 
getting rid of that toxic friend because I feel like there are not a lot of genuine people out there and I feel like the most genuine people out there are the people that have been through something you know what I mean like it's always like the homeless people that are like I'm not saying all of them it's they are such the nicest souls like despite their situations like if you compare it to someone who is more like I guess higher up and has more money um but doesn't have the same gratitude because everything's been given to them it's like so like weird like I like how do you understand people that have had everything given to them you know like whereas if you are someone who has been through so much I feel like people don't talk about problems it's constantly suppressed in this society like if you're feeling some type of way like people just look at you like you're crazy like something's wrong with you like why is it an issue to feel but why is it an issue to feel you know what I mean people create you know things because they they feel something or something drew them to create that you know or someone was drawn to start making themselves feel better about themselves because they weren't taking care of their health and like I, I've always felt like you can heal your body naturally your body can heal itself but if you aren't giving yourself the right medicine I want to say of life within your health and you know exercising and your diet then and I want to say your mental health well you'll see your mental health will change if you take care of your health and your diet uh, and your exercise and whatever and I feel like it's just like yeah I don't know I feel like all you can do in this reality is take care of yourself and spread as much good it doesn't hurt to be nice like there are so many people out there that will use you and take advantage of you but you shouldn't let that happen but also be kind and, and spread kindness and spread good because what goes around comes about around it is the karmic law of um manifestation and this reality in this reality there are codes and things that are right in our face that we don't understand like i always see repeating numbers and i always am like yeah what does this mean like if i see four 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 or if i see eight eight or i see this number again and again and i'm like what is this sign like the universe will show you signs like i noticed as well i always notice um like travel agencies i'll walk past and i'll have to look back and i'll be like man i'd love to do that and it's just about like noticing what's like showing up in your reality because i feel like we're really not aware like we're so focused on status and yeah finish school get a high paying job but then nothing's done internally it's all done externally do you know what i mean it's like how do you i feel like it's so important to learn how to control your mind and and who you are and and live a life that is truly authentic to you and i feel like especially a lot of spiritual practices have been suppressed and you can really see that in society with some you know um i want to say indigenous lands that have now been taken over sadly um and a lot of these things are starting to disappear you know and it's it's really sad to see how like in a couple years like you know things are going to change like technology is advancing so much and it's crazy how no one questions it you know like look how close your phone is to you like you you have your phone on you all the time look how close the technology is to you like imagine in like i don't know like 50 to 60 years time you know like yeah so all i can say is live a life that's truly authentic to you and if you have an idea or if you want to do something do it no one's stopping you the only person that's stopping you is you because in reality you do have a choice you always have a choice and you always know internally if something's for you you know you can it's literally proven by psychologists that you have a gut instinct sorry and you have feelings that you need to just learn how to trust you know 
like especially with your gut or is it your mind coming in or is it your heart like what do you feel um so yeah um I think it's important to stay in tune with yourself. If you know yourself emotionally, then you'll know yourself and how you work. Listen to your body. That's what I'm gonna say, listen to your body. Where does your body, how does your body feel? How does your mind feel? What do you need to change in order to create change? A lot of people out there live the same lives. I don't know how. I don't know how. I don't know how. And this really confuses me because like knowing there's a whole world out there and people just do the same thing and it's like they're stuck in a loop and I look at people and I'm like man like what was their dream what did they want to do when they were young like these people I'm sure they had something like because you think about it everyone chooses a career based on something that I guess reminds them of a feeling like or um gives them some sort of freedom in a job you'll never be free which is sad but that's just reality right or so we've been told but yeah um please do what makes you happy and you're not crazy if you think outside the box or if you have a mind of your own because if you have a mind of your own you can create something for yourself you can better yourself you can see things differently you know if you enhance your mind if you enhance adding things into your life like exercise or changing your diet or restrict restricting something from your diet or maybe um trying something new like trying a new product or trying going to a different beach or going somewhere different you know like we always go to the same place but it's like well what if you didn't go to that shop today that you always go to once a week what if you went to a different shop even though it was far like, I think everyone's so concerned about things being time consuming, but like, wouldn't you want to see something different other than the same shopping mall and the same place you've always seen? Like, don't you think that would change something in your mindset? You know, I feel like that's why some people are stuck in loops and cycles and maybe it's a good cycle, but maybe it's a bad or an unhealthy cycle. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just ranting here. Um, but yeah it's kind of just what I feel about reality or, and how I see it and I hope someone can relate or you know feels the same way yeah but please do what makes you happy in life because it's your life and at the end of the day you always have a choice you know even if you don't like you always have a choice you know you're your own person and you should be able to do what makes you happy and you should be able to live for yourself you know it's always going to be hard when you want to do something different and it sucks it does but it's your life you're the one living it not someone else so why should their opinion matter i understand if it is out of protection and precaution but if you feel like this could change your life or maybe if you just try it another time or maybe if you just gave it another chance then it could work who knows it's like when you I don't know it's like when you work and you're trying to get the technique right for what you're doing whether it's doing something on a computer or learning some products you can do that in your reality outside of work yeah if you can work then you can have control over your own mind if you can learn something you can take that knowledge and enhance it uh, enhance it in your own reality like you know think about a game a video game <laughs> like um you enhance your character in a video game and if you can do that you can enhance your character in real life <laughs> It just takes time and money and, you know, care and love for yourself. But people notice when you're taking care of yourself, how you look, you know? A lot of people look the same. It's like your average Joe doing the same thing. A lot of people like, you know, but if you want to be different, you have to be different. You have to do different things, you know? Well, yeah.
thanks for watching my delicious life